Yes, guys, I'm going to talk about the new Star Wars teaser trailer. You don't need to keep asking me. So, guys, the biggest 88 seconds of the year has officially dropped. And I know you're asking, Tyson, why didn't you do a trailer reactions review? Why didn't you do this, blah, blah, blah? Well, you see, I was doing something called Thanksgiving with my family, something that all people should do. Well, anyway, let's get into the freaking trailer, because I'm one of the biggest Star Wars fans on the Earth, and I figure let's talk about it. The trailer starts out on a shot of a desert planet with a voice narration that sounds a lot like Benedict Cumberbatch, but it is confirmed that it is Andy Serkis saying, There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Out of nowhere, John Boydega pops from the screen. This scene actually made me jump the first time I watched it, and he looks off to the distance, scared, lonely, and very confused. The very next shot, we see another deserty area where a soccer ball type of droid is rolling around, possibly Tatooine, home of awesome Darth Vader, the biggest badass on the face of the whole galaxy. The next shot is a ship cargo full of stormtroopers getting ready to invade or storm a particular place very, very, very reminiscent to Saving Private Ryan. The very next shot we see Daisley Midler, newcomer, go on top of a motorcycle, also kind of on Tatooine, looking very rushed and very worried riding off to a town that also looks very similar to Tatooine. We also see another newcomer, Oscar Isaac, as a very reminiscent fire pilot, flying on a very watery planet we possibly have never seen before. The very next shot shows a very shadowy figure walking down a snowy forest with the narration coming back saying, The Dark Side and the Light. The shadowy figure then whips out his Excalibur lightsaber, which I'm not going to lie, looks really freaking cool. Oh, at this point, it's holding your interest. You think it looks really cool. How can they make it even cooler? Well, how about they show the Millennium Falcon back in action once again for the first time in forever, shooting at droid ships with the Star Wars theme playing right over it. Yeah. My draw dropped also. A lot of people are wondering, why didn't it show the original cast? What's with all these new people? Well, the reason why is because the new Star Wars movie is supposed to be settled on these new type of people. This new cast. It shouldn't show Harrison Ford. It shouldn't show Carrie Fisher. It shouldn't show anybody like that. We got an original cast member. It was called the Millennium Falcon. That returned. That blew our mind. Come on, guys. It's just a teaser. Now, how do I feel about the teaser? I think it looks awesome. This is my most anticipated film of 2015, I could safely say, and I think it is fallen into the very, very right hands. Well, that's what everyone thought with Phantom Menace, am I right? <laughs> Oh wait, no, I didn't mean that. So guys, what do you think about the new Star Wars Force Awakens teaser trailer? Do you want to see this movie? Do you not want to see this movie? I think it looks cool. Do you think it looks cool? Whatever you think, let me know in the comments. Like this video, subscribe, find me on Facebook, and yeah, peace out.